Welcome to the California Professional Learning Stories, a resource from the California Department of Education designed to help California local educational agencies learn more about how to design and implement high quality professional learning systems to support their teachers and leaders to meet the needs of their students and communities. In this story, we will learn about how West Contra Costa Unified School District is using a strong professional learning system to implement a one-to-one -one technology initiative. Each California professional learning story focuses on one of the Quality Professional Learning Standards, or QPLS. The one-to-one -one technology initiative at West Contra Costa Unified touches on many of the QPLS, but this professional learning story will focus primarily on design and structure. Welcome to the West Contra Costa Unified School District, a community of learners. We're all learners here, from the classrooms, to the teachers, to the instructional aides, to the leaders. We are a community of learners. One of the things we've had to learn over the past number of years was about new technology entering the world in the classrooms. Our one-to-one -one initiative was rolled out across the district for all of our students and was meant to be responsive for the needs of students and families. Along the way, we learned a lot. We had a number of bumps and bruises, hiccups, and tremendous successes and highlights. We're here to share that journey with you, and we hope you enjoy. WCCUSD is an economically and ethnically diverse K-12 district serving the cities of Richmond, El Cerrito, San Pablo, Pinole, Hercules, and unincorporated areas of Bayview, Montalvin Manor, East Richmond Heights, El Sobrante, Kensington, North Richmond, and Terra Hills. Five years ago, we decided as a district to become one-to-one -one provider for each student with access to his or her own device to use for school. Currently, uh, our, um, our theory of action and our uh, philosophy around technology is to look at um, any area of instruction um, where, we are, uh, where we're teaching content, where we're teaching something in the classroom, and looking at it through the lens of technology, meaning that technology is a tool. Um, it's not a panacea, it's not a babysitter, it is something that needs to be used very intentionally and limited, um, as we know from screen time. But so for our uh, theory of action, um, it is that we look at any instruction in the classroom and see if it can be made better by technology. The why was easy. Our students need 21st century skills and access that would prepare them for college and career. The how was trickier. How do we prepare our adults to integrate technology into their classrooms? I was part of a history grant where we were told we were going to get tablets in our classroom and I was very excited about it even though we hadn't been using one-on-one -on -one technology or having access to it. We finally got a cow which is computer on wheels and I got to share it with my other eighth grade partner teacher. Um, at first it was a struggle. There was a big teacher learning curve. We needed to design systems and structures to increase and sustain teacher professional learning that supported technology integration in the classroom and improve student outcomes. Developing the capacity of teachers to manage tech devices in their classroom was very thoughtfully planned. Uh, we started really small. We've had several summer workshops where it was talking about how to use technology in the classroom and that was very helpful especially using Google Classroom and programs like that that could enhance the classroom. Also doing digital portfolios. Um, we have had teachers from our school talk about how they use different technology things in their classroom and that's helped as well. We have a number of strong teachers at Mira Vista that um, are comfortable uh, teaching um, subjects uh, a different way than integrating technology. And we have some teachers that are, uh, have a high level of discomfort or anxiety around integrating um, computers into the classroom or tablets into the classroom in the, uh, um, in the students' hands. So maximizing that and um, figuring out ways to create lessons that um, are made better with technology um, was a lot of work. 
um, and making sure that we were supporting teachers as they were uh, using tablets um, on a more frequent basis was hard. From the outset, we understood that we had to go slow to go fast. The types of culture change and capacity building would not happen overnight. We began with the idea of Technology Teacher Leader, or TTL. Each school identified a lead teacher who would support the school site in tech integration. The TTL became the first teacher on site to receive tablets for their students. So the first year, each of our tech teacher leaders received their, their cow, their computers on wheels, and they were the ones, the first testers to really practice what it was to manage these devices, to troubleshoot them. Teachers learning from teachers has been great. It's one of those things where you can talk at me, but if I'm actually trying to learn something from you because I see you have a valid program, then I'm going to embrace it much more readily and I'm going to put it into my classroom and have my students do it. And then I was the, uh, the more foundational piece, which was making sure that the tech was working. Um, and it wasn't just me, we had a coach as well as a TTL, uh, Ms. Bafford in the classrooms, um, a lot. But in those early days especially, there's a lot of support required to uh, get up and running. Um, but it's integral to uh, lower the anxiety, to lower the effective uh, filter for the, uh, the teachers in the classroom so that they're comfortable doing the teaching. He or she was tasked with supporting their colleagues through one-on-one -on -one time and investigating the ins and outs of a one-to-one -one classroom. The TTLs are now in their fifth year. We have invested in developing their skill set as well. This school year, part of their mandate is to provide a training in tech integration twice during the school year. What we found over time with the professional development that we offered was just having one session was definitely not enough because there's always a tryout phase. And then reflection is the key to everything because what you think things are gonna look like when you try things out the first time in the classroom is not typically the way things go. And having to refine that process and then talk it through with colleagues is just so crucial to best practices. Um, having two sessions where teachers try it out and then they come back and then we just have a talk through. how to go? What'd you learn? That whole brainstorming, that group reflective, refining practice phase in that second session was the key to teacher confidence. While we ramped up professional learning opportunities for teachers, we realized the administrators needed support as well. In terms of adopting technology, uh, I'm a little late. My family makes fun of me. I tend to be about five years late on adopting technology. Um, and that's a bit of an irony considering that now um, I lead uh, a school where we are um, at the forefront of uh, integrating technology um, into the classroom. But I also think that it gives me um, a context on how to be a leader um, to help people that aren't as comfortable with technology. We varied the professional learning opportunities to both model different styles for adult learners, but also to engage them for their own learning needs. The teacher learning curve was interesting because we all came into this at different points in the technology game. Um, we had people who were having problems logging in to do role. And then we had people who had had computers all their lives and, and knew how to program and all that. Um, so it's been interesting to watch and I think part of it is a peer pressure thing where if you're doing something cool then I should be doing it too or I want to because it sounds interesting. The key to our success in this district has been the ongoing message of teacher support. We're not one and done. It's not a one visit and then you're left on your own. I'm going to stick with a teacher through a coaching cycle until they feel their needs have been met and they feel confident and independent and successful in their practice. The same thing with our professional development. If we know, if teachers know that they are gonna see us two times, and if they need me to come back and follow up, or they need you know, their TTL to come back and follow up after that, then their professional development takes on a whole different meaning for them, and then their level of ongoing integration in the classroom and their consistency is definitely um, gonna be increased.
To view more professional learning stories, please visit us at cde.ca.gov slash plstories. To learn more about the quality professional learning standards, please visit us at cde.ca.gov slash qpls.